Hello everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. My name is Amania Namshad and I am intern in AFRS. So today we will be discussing about the topic footprint evidences in detail. So in this presentation we have included topics such as uh, introduction to the footprint, types of footprint, lifting and its collection, analysis of footprint, forensic significance and finally summing up the entire topic. So firstly we'll go with the definition what footprints are. The print of the shoe or foot is basically called as a foot or shoe print. Detailed examination of foot or shoe print can delete or include a suspect or victim into the crime list. The faults, irregularities, characteristics, design, nail patches can all be vital in leading a crime case. Next, we discuss about the types of footprint. Depending upon the nature of surface, the footprints can be basically divided into two types, the sunken and the surface prints. Where the foot or shoe print is depressed into a fresh concrete or wet pit, a 3D image form which is called as a sunken print. The formed print can be slightly larger than the actual size. When it comes to the surface print, the print is basically formed on a hard surface such as a grease or paint or dirt etc. which forms a 1D image. This reveals better disquintishable characters of the print. The next slide basically I have represented the sunken footprint and the surface footprint. The first is the sunken footprint which is a print of a fruit foot in a fresh concrete that has been later dried up and the second two images are of the surface footprints. In the next slide we have basically discussed about the lifting and collection of footprint evidences. First we will be taking photography. Photography is the primary step of preservation of any type of evidences. Any type of footprint or shoe print should be photographed with proper scale at the right angle then the suspect footprint is photographed and it is then used for further comparison of solving the crime. Now the next step of collection of footprint is the tracing method. Uh, surface footprint can also be recovered and preserved by tracing method. A glass or celluloid sheet is used for this tracing method. The prominent lines, dips and features are drawn in continuous lines and the faded features found in the print are drawn with dotted discontinuous lines. The next type of lifting method is by casting. The most sunken footprints are commonly subjected to POP casting method or Pastor of Paris casting method. The next two methods are the intense lifting method, the holography and the electrostatic technique. When it comes to holography, basically applied to invisible foot or shoe prints or carpets. When the fiber on the carpet are compressed by the pressure of foot or shoe of the suspect or victim when walked over, the laser beam is used to visualize these compressed image, images and then photographed for further investigation process. Next is the electrostatic method of lifting a footprint. This technique works on the principle that the dust particles can be lifted at high voltage on a vinyl sheet. In this technique, a vinyl sheet is placed over the surface bearing the print. The vinyl sheet is then covered with an aluminum foil. A high voltage of about 15,000 volt is applied to the foil. Then the charged dust particles are attached to the vinyl sheet, making it visualized to the print on the vinyl sheet. Laser beam can be used for better visualization and photograph can be done for further comparison of the visualized footprint or shoe print. In this slide, I have represented the prints that has been taken by photography. The first two prints are photographed. Uh, it is basically a shoe print. The next is the traced of a footprint. The tracing has been shown and then it is the casting of a footprint. 
then it is the holographic images of footprint there are footprints that is present in the carpet then it is about the electrostatic technique where the laser beam has been used for better uh, visualization of the print that has been provided next is about how carefully the footprint should be analyzed by an investigating officer the first it's about that the investigating officer should search for shoe prints or food prints at the entry floor of the room stairs tables etc never avoid the outside of the crime scene such as courtyard or at the field the officers and the team should also make an effort to barricade and to protect the evidence from environmental conditions such as rain wind unauthorized people ignorant common people etc the following step should be kept in mind while collection of the footprint if the footprint is marked on a easy portable object then it is so much better if we take the entire subject to custody with labeling details then if the footprint is found on wall or courtyard etc it should be covered with hard non destroyable paper if the footprint or shoe print is found on a closed place such as room or cubicle it should be locked and sealed if not possible the print should be covered with suitable object and guarded with deputy sentry we will now look into the forensic significance of footprint that has been collected from the crime scene footprint are the vital evidence in house breaking cases which can give a number of information firstly it's established the link between the victim suspect and the crime scene it provides an idea of number of people that were present at the crime scene at the time of crime it shows approximate stature and the body weight of the suspect or accused it defines the gait pattern of the suspect it shows the direction of the victim or the suspect it gives a clear idea of model size material brand etc of the footwear these information can help in the execution of victim or suspect from the crime list so well guys let me sum up my presentation by giving you a rough idea of how well these evidences are used in our country so even though the footprint are a potential evidence they are not admissible as reliable evidence in our court they are considered as just and collaborative evidence in india a number of cases has been stated by the court that the conviction of the accused should not only be based on footprints as the integrity collection procedure analysis etc of footprint is always questioned and the science of footprint analysis is not well established but let me tell you just because these evidences are not well admissible to the court this field should not be underrated as footprint or footwear prints have vital information about suspect and victim hence it is important to develop more technique for their authenticity accuracy analysis so that we can it can be admissible in the court as an important evidence thank you everyone for listening to this topic i hope you have learned something productive from this if you have any doubts kindly comment down below please like and share our video also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to learn more about such topics bye guys and have a very good day forward